Okay, PC Tools Firewall Plus 6 free version. This is a nice easy firewall to install and it gives you great protection. Let's look at the Matusek results. As you can see, Komodo Internet Security free version is 100%. And PC Tools Firewall Plus version 6 has also achieved 100%. Online Armor Pro version is 99%. Kaspersky Internet Security is 96%, Outpost Free Version 93%, Outpost Pro Version 92%, and Online Armor Free Version 92%. If we come down to a very popular firewall, which is Zone Alarm, the Pro Version only achieved 72%, and the Free Version achieved 11%. So you make an informed choice as to what you want to use. Now this is a very simple and easy one to install. Download the installer. It will disable other firewalls including the Windows firewall on your computer. So click next. Accept the agreement. Click next. Click next again. You have the option to install as a normal user or expert user. Expert users will get slightly more detailed information. For most of you normal user will suffice. Enhanced security verification is pre-ticked which will protect against malicious attempts to bypass your application rules on the firewall. So leave it on normal user for most of you, click next and allow it to install. And this will take a few minutes so I'll just fast forward on that. As with all firewalls you need to reboot the computer to initialize it. So I will reboot and come back. OK I've come back and the first thing it's done is found a new network which is my wireless setup this is preset, you can give it a name of your choice and this is on a public, I will change it to home because this is my home network which is trusted and click apply. Avast wants to connect to the internet, I would allow this and also tick the box to remember this setting, it reduces the number of pop-ups you get on this program I will block. So by ticking remember this setting it learns very quickly now if you right click the icon in the system tray, go to firewall mode, you can allow, ask or block all, disable the firewall and here we're going to open it. In the user interface you have firewall protection, application blocking and profiles, you can click either of those for instant access to that area. We'll go to settings in the left panel. Under general display traffic information in the tray icon, it will flash when it's active. Prompt to confirm changing in applications, allow block status, automatically allow known applications and automatically allow applications with valid digital signatures. Firewall mode. If you go to allow all, this will disable the firewall. It will turn it off. If you go to block all, it will block all internet connectivity. So leave it on ask. It's nice and simple. It learns very quickly. Now if we go to networks, this one's set up on my home network. You can also change this if you're using a uh, a work group at work or you're using a public network. Prompt on new network detection you can also give it a default profile either home, public, work or a name of your choice. Filtering enable the firewall and enable enhanced security verification make sure they're both ticked. Password you can password protect the program. Enable password protection will protect the settings and you can also protect shutdown and this is quite important so if you tick enable password and tick both boxes you will need to enter your password twice and then click OK. I'll do that later so that I don't get any pop-ups at the moment which will ask me for the password to do anything. Enable full screen detection secure mode this will tempor temporarily stop the pop-ups which if you're in gaming mode or anything like that, full screen applications is ideal. Flexible mode, it will temporarily allow requests. So allow it to learn and you'll be able to use the uh, full screen secure mode. Preferences, normal user or expert user where you get a little more detailed information. Check for updates automatically and you have a choice of languages down here. If we click on applications, you'll get a list of applications that are on your computer and some of these I've already preset to allow and you have the option to block, allow all, allow trusted or to ask. 
in this case it's my network wireless tray applet which I will allow it's trusted it's my home network you can also log it by clicking on the log now the log is set to no by default if you want to log anything you need to click it and select yes if you click this little arrow beside the program name uh, with C cleaner you can see the location and the version and you can also set this as a local proxy and modify system and applications and access physical memory it is allowed because this program needs to access those to clean properly and in most cases these will be preset when you click the allow or block on the pop-ups and you again you have the options allow all block allow trusted or ask some of these I've set to ask and there's others I've set which I have blocked and again logging entirely up to you what you want to log if you're interested in the log files and what's connecting and what's going in and out of your computer profiles port override if you click add and then click on user defined service if you use a program like MSN messenger or Yahoo messenger find in the list and click on it and it shows you the port number and the protocol TCP or UDP it needs both because it's a two-way thing and click apply I will remove this because I don't use instant messengers advanced rules you can leave those as they are unless you're an advanced user most of you just leave them alone trusted IP lists show that uh, the following IP ranges that are allowed by the firewall such as the local area network the DHCP server the DNS server and the gateway and you can add to this you can refresh it and if you have other networks you can also scroll down and get further information on those if you click on history now this is the log and you may want to clear this out now and again if you're keeping logs but it allows you to check incoming and outgoing connections and those that were allowed if we right click here this one was allowed and this is open DNS it's quite safe I'm quite happy with that I don't have a problem this one was incoming was blocked and if we right click and get the details this is a mobile search it's Microsoft Windows peer resolution and it's been blocked so I'm quite happy with that as well and bear in mind that my router also has a built-in firewall so a software firewall does have its uses under activity it shows you the applications that are running and if I click on Firefox it shows me the packets sent packets received bytes sent bytes received connections it's connected to the remote local address 127.0.0.1 and it's also connected to this IP here which is Google so you can check out what it's doing it's also listening on these two ports and this is just general information for most of you it will be of no interest whatsoever and it really is a very simple firewall firewall protection if you click on that quite simply you can turn it off and you can turn it on you can click here for detailed traffic activity and you also have the option to upgrade from the free version the free version works extremely well it's a great little program and as in the Matusek tests it performs very well if you want more information and download links check out my blog which is free PC security and you can find it at free PC security